Setting up the Verity Touch Writer. Locate the printer power cord and the USB cord from the black electronics supply bag. The USB cord has a blue end. The printer power cord has a blue plastic tag. Plug the smaller square silver end of the USB printer cable into the back of the printer. Plug the printer power cord into the back of the printer. Plug the other end into an outlet or power strip, but do not power on the printer at this time. Load the blank ballot paper into the ballot tray. The blank ballot paper is found with the printed ballots inside the ballot box. Adjust the green paper guide to accommodate 17-inch ballot paper. Slide the tray into the front of the printer. It will extend through the back of the printer. Go to the stand with the closed touch writer. Plug the flat blue end of the USB printer cable into the back of the touch writer with the notch facing up. Remove the touch writer power cord and the power brick from the black electronic supply bag. The ballot counter and touch writer power cords are identical. These cords may have arrived assembled. If they are not assembled, plug the power cord into the power brick. Plug the power brick into the back of the touch writer with the flat side up. Plug the power cord into an outlet or power strip. A green light on the power brick will indicate AC power is present. Do not power up the touch writer yet. Check that the touch writer is secure by making certain the latch under the stand has been pushed toward the back. Use the silver key to unlock the touch writer case latches. Open the case and lock the lid brace in place. To avoid damage to cord or device, never tilt the unit up by the handle while cords are connected. Unlock the tablet with the blue key. Unlatch the tablet on the left side and remove it. Seat the tablet in the cradle, tilt it back, and lock it in place with the blue key. Verify that the light above the report printer is green to indicate that the tablet is seated properly. If the light is red, unlock the touch writer, remove it, and seat it in the cradle again. Attach the privacy screens to the sides of the touch writer. Press the switch below the screen on the top left side of the ballot printer, power it on. You are now ready to open the poles for the touch writer. You will power up the touch writer when you open the poles. Those steps are covered in the next video.